Right, so we're going to do a second demo now. We're going to use that lovely um, border edge this time. So we're using that beautiful Subsbox 52, which is embroidery dye, something a little bit different. And if I just move the box away, we're actually going to have a look at this particular design now. So we've got that gorgeous edgeable here that's created that beautiful sort of shaping around the edge. And this is actually part of your kit here. So if I just bring the die back in there, you can see here how we've got that edge to marry up with it like so. So I'm gonna cut this first and this is gonna create both the shape and the holes for us to stitch in. And then we'll do a little bit of stitching and then I'll pop it together as a full card for you. So again, using cards from that kit, we've got that lovely six by four card and these have all been made to fit that size. So if I just take that detail off here, make sure we've got it in the right place. And again, if you're not confident at cutting both dies at the same time, pop the edge in first and cut the edge away and then you can add your detailed die in afterwards. But what I'm going to do here is literally just pop them both together and as long as the dies aren't touching, we're safe to take those in place. All right, and then because it's going to go on the edge of my card, I just need to remember to open it up so that it doesn't cut through both pieces. So again, I'm going to take my Gemini plates there. I'm going to lay this across here. And then I've got my shims as normal. And we're going to pass this through our Gemini just to cut that detail in there. You can just see there, just needs a little bit of extra pressure in the centre there. Um, perhaps add the metal shim in when you're cutting. Uh, but I've got one that I've already done there, so we'll pop onto that one. So again, take the tape away. Take that outside edge away. And just because the card's a wee bit longer than the die itself, again, if we take this out of the, the die, all I'm going to do is take my little snips and literally just snip to where the die starts there and at this end to where it finishes to create my design there. And then it's just a case of using your pokey tool to take out all those little holes and you can see we've got that design emerging there along the side of the card. So I've done that ready just to speed it up a little bit. I've taken all the pieces out and we've got one ready to start uh, cutting, uh, sewing into there. So I'm going to bring in that template again and this was in your box. So this is in the uh, subscription box with all the details on and it just gives you a guide here it doesn't have to be the same. You can choose different colours. You might want to work in monochrome. It's entirely up to you, but it gives you a guide as to how it works. Now, I've taken my thread and I've got some of the orange to start one of the flowers with. And I'm just working with two strands of the embroidery thread. Now, if you're not sure what I mean about that, if you have a look back at the other demo that I've done for you, I showed you how to separate the strands because they come in six strands altogether. All right, so all of them together, there are six of them. So you split them out into three lots of two and that will give you a whole length to work with there. So I'm going to work from the back of my card and I'm going to work on this little flower at the top here. So we've actually got details where we can go from the centre here. So I'm just feeling with my finger where that flower is. And again, I like to just hold this on the back because once you've started working, it sort of seals itself. And then I'm going to go out to the edge piece here. And then I'm going to come back in that same hole at the centre and then out to the edge again. Just make sure it doesn't catch. And then back through that, that same hole in the centre. So I'm working in the same one for now back to the edge and they're in like sort of like sets of four almost the little holes so they'll be four times through the center hole and then out to that side piece just to create that little fan effect and you can just see there how we've got that little shape coming on nicely so then I'm going to go to the next hole at the center and then work my way into the next four holes to make another one, which become the petals of the flower. So you're creating that little hole, that little um, fan shape through the holes, and those become the petals there. So you can just see how we've got that middle hole becomes the focal point for the thread. Back through that same hole again, 
and then out to the edge. So I've used four of the holes and we've now created two petals. And then I'm just going to do one more for you guys. So I'm going to come to the next hole in the centre now, just feeling where it is with my finger underneath. And then I'm going to use the next four holes on the outside there Oops. to do one back up through the centre, two back up through that same hole in the centre, third one and then back up through that same one again. So I'm using the centre hole to do all four of those strands to create the petals and you can see there how that's starting to come together and if I bring you this one in that I've done again and see we've got here and then I've just added a little bit of yellow across the center when I finished and then I've done the same with some of the other colors again using that guide so you've got that guide here just to show you how to fill in the little holes if you're not sure so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to one that I've finished off here so you can see I've gone all the way down there use the different colors and again you know if you're not keen on all this on the back I would just cut into another piece of card and back it so that you've got this covered up but I'm not too worried about that at the time being so again I've just taken a selection of pieces from that kit and this time I've gone for the yellow and I love the spots and dots there so a little bit of matting and layering again bringing in my double-sided tape pen just for ease if you like to use a wet glue then I would probably go for my Kalal all-purpose to stick these layers together. And again, matting and layering those, we're going to put one on the inside. So I'm going to stick with the tape pen there, pop that round the edge. This one's going to sit in the back there, like so. Just mat and layer that one into the back of the card. And then on the front, I've just cut some more pieces down. So we're going to pop one with that lovely diagonal stripe. And then I've got a little scrap of the dotty one to sit on top. So again, just simple matting and layering. And it doesn't need much more than that, to be honest, too, because uh, you want that stitching to be the focal point on the card there. So again, I'm just going to layer these up with the, uh, the tape pen, add them to that card blank. And then you can, you know, you've got the envelopes in the kit that will match. So if you want to decorate the envelopes with any of the offcuts of card, you can do that as well. If you're brave enough, you could even do a little bit of stitching onto the envelope, onto the, um, you know, the, the V on the back of the envelope. Uh, so, yeah, you could have a go at that. So, again, I'm just going to pop these in place. Oops. Try and get it straight would be better. There we go. And then the last one, I'm going to run my tape down the middle of there and then just add that last little scrap. And it's amazing how just those little pieces just finish it off nicely. And then again, I've used one of the stamps from the sets there just to create a nice little sentiment. So we'll pop that one on a foam pad again, just to lift it a little bit. Pop that one on the back there. And then just pop that one in and then if I bring in the one that I'd finished earlier again I've just added some of those beautiful little dew drops just to finish it off as an embellishment there and if I stand you that one up you can see there just that alternative die that's the, the border die that's come from that lovely sub box 52 which is our embroidery die kit Ooh.